1% of athletes in a sport use performance enhancing drugs. The World Anti-Doping Agency has a testing process. The test result is, let's say that it's positive 80% of the time, but there's also a risk of false positives in the test. If the athlete does not dope, the test result is positive 10% of the time. Suppose an athlete is tested and gets a positive result. What is the probability that they're doping? To compute this probability, we first summarize the relevant information in the language of probability. Thus, the marginal probability of doping is equal to 0.01 or 1%. The probability of being positive given that you're doping is 80%. The probability of being positive when you're not doping is still 10% or 0.1. So let's use Bayes' formula. Let's plug in the calculations for this and we see that it's equal to just over 10%. The probability of doping being positive is 0.8 times 0.01 divided by 0.107, which is roughly 8%. Wow, assuming these tests and general athlete characteristics, the probability of doping given a positive result is only 8%. Thus, multiple independent tests should be required in a case like this in the event that a positive result happens to be more sure about those results.